If you do some research at the moment on wireless microphones, there are plenty of fantastic options. If you watch a bunch of reviews, I'd say the best you can get at the moment are the Hollyland Lark Max at 299. But you also could consider Rode's recently announced wireless Crows at 399, which offer 32-bit float recording, which is awesome. Or you could also consider their wireless Go 2 at 279, but be aware this doesn't come with a charging case. Then there's the DJI wireless mics and the Comica Boom XD Pros, which clearly have the best name. But what I'd like to compare these two today is an option that is in most cases half the price, the Full Aim X5. To quickly smash through some features, it comes with two wind socks, a USB-C and lightning adapter, headphone and 3.5 aux outputs, and 3.5 lav inputs, nine hours of 48 kilohertz 16 bit uncompressed internal recording, the internal battery needs two hours of charging, offers six hours of usage time, and the charging case bumps that up to a combined usage time of 18 hours, and the transmitter clips are also magnetic. This is all pretty standard stuff. The X5 also includes built-in noise cancelling, which not many of the other options offer, and to be honest, it works pretty well. Actually, while we're at it, this light here makes quite a bit of noise. You'll be able to hear that noise. And then if I turn on the sound cancelling on the full aim, So that there is internal recorded audio, but now with the full aim having its sound cancelling turned on versus the rest just still being normal internal recording. But I would encourage learning how to do this in post-production and having more control of it later on. But again, if that's not for you or you need to live stream, this is awesome. It can record in mono, stereo or mono with a safety track. And one very unique feature is that the charging case has a built-in UV sterilization function. This is designed to provide an additional layer of cleanliness and hygiene for the mics. Now Full Aim don't advertise this, it's not visible on their website, it's not the instruction booklet, but they have told me, personally, reassured me, that, and you can see it in the case here, it has a UV sterilisation built in, and I think that's pretty cool. See, a lot of reviewers title the Full Aim X5 as the DJI killers, which I doubted, but my own range and penetration tests proved otherwise. So this is pretty much a best case scenario as far as middle of nowhere farmland with minimal interference. What we'll do is I'll walk away from you with my body in between and I don't expect to get too far. But if I can get to that shed all the way down there, turn around and it'll reconnect and have line of sight all the way back. It's maybe not quite 100 metres and I think that'll be impressive. Let's count off paces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, Just reconnected. It's Bonnie to walk towards me. I'm currently 100 paces away and it's working at this range. Awesome because I think that's about as practical as you ever need to go. I didn't expect it to get here with my back turned though. So we'll see how it sounds coming back. Out of curiosity, I wanted to see what it was like now doing the exact same test with the DJI microphones. So I do note I couldn't find my windsock for my DJI mic, so don't judge sound quality on this. This is purely just a distance test. We'll count them off again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is about where the full lame started to cut out. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 15, 15. Right, so I've just turned around and taken a breath and it'll be interesting to see how quickly this has reconnected. I'm that 100 paces, 100 metres away, still line of sight. And as I mentioned, this is pretty much a best case scenario. There is very little of any type of interference around and it's direct line of sight. So your results might not be as good as this, but we're now going to walk it back. What was really surprising from that DJI test is it was around that 6-7 metre mark compared to like the 12-ish mark I got with the full aim. So I'm just going to do that one more time just to, just to be safe. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. If I'm still crackling here while talking, then the full aim penetration goes, and that'd be really impressive if this is still crackling. So just in case the full aim got lucky, I'm gonna do that like 13, eight meter test again, just, just to be safe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here at eight meters, if this is still connected and going all good with my back turned, that's great. Nine, ten meters. 
another little audio test at 10 meters, just, just seeing how things pick up and how they can get to the DJI microphones. Just to quickly summarize this test, the X5 I feel has slightly better penetration through an individual, through a body, where the DJI maybe has slightly better range. Not much of a difference in the real world, we're talking small differences here. When doing internal recording comparisons to the DJI and the Rode Wireless Go 2, all three record way too quiet internally for my taste. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog as I recorded an audio test into all three microphones at pretty much the exact same distance. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog as I recorded an audio test into all three microphones at pretty much the exact same distance. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog as I recorded an audio test into all three microphones at pretty much the exact same distance. See the issue of doing an audio test via the camera is I am then worrying about the transmitter and the camera compressors, limiters. I've got everything turned off and for this test I'm not going to change the audio levels in the camera, just the gain levels on the receiver to see how this audio test compares. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. I forgot to mention that for the full aim audio test I had the gain set at stage 3 of 5 and for the DJI audio test I have the gain set at negative 4, negative 2. I have the gain set at negative 2 for the DJI audio test which is hopefully resulting in the exact same levels coming through to camera. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. One thing I forgot to mention for consistency, I'm trying to sit at the exact same spot at the table looking towards this screen while having the levels exactly the same. And for the roads, that is with the decibel set to negative, negative 24. Negative 24 decibels on the road. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. But the main takeaway from all this, if you'd like a very professionally sounding microphone for half the price, buy the Full Aim X5. And just to put my money where my mouth is, here are some examples of real-world interviews recorded using the Full Aim X5 with zero post-production work done to them, other than a slight level adjustment. The problem is they're about $1.7 million. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. The end the fit out and all those other things. And so that's where it is. No, no, not next time. Yeah, right, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's a large enhancement. Yeah. You know, but then we have smaller enhancements. So, you know, we have people donating um, uh, materials, we have people donating services, we have working bees planting, like for example we've got... We get involved um, very early on and um, the artists um, knew what they wanted and they wanted to use the material that was particular to Taranaki and probably to the hospital and of course stainless steel is really big in Taranaki. So it was a synthetic, well, it's a polypropylene product so it's, um, it's like a woven, almost like a fabric. Um, with a self-adhesive uh, backing. So it goes up on the wall just like a sticker, essentially, like a vinyl decal would. But yeah, the product that it's made out of, the plastic fibres then get, um, like I say, they get recycled, shredded up with other polypropylene products and then spat out as uh, fence posts. There are a few downsides to the X5. I think the display isn't as bright as its counterparts. The gain range is a little limited to five stages, and just like all the other options with a charging case, there isn't a way to also carry the wind socks and an aux cable all inside the one case. But I really want to slam home this one major factor. The Full Aim X5 is contending with the best of its class at half the price. At least half the price. Meaning bang for buck, there isn't a better option to consider.